when we talked about concept maps, we talked about how important it is to come up with all the different ways that a given concept could be named or described. For cars, there's also automobiles and motor ve vehicles and a plethora of specific kinds of cars. In what's called a controlled vocabulary, there's only one word or phrase for a concept and only one concept for a word or phrase. There are no synonyms, different words, same meaning, and no homonym, same word, different meaning. This is helpful because searching the descriptor for a certain thing should bring in almost all the information sources in the database that are about that thing and none that aren't about that thing. A database's thesaurus, which is sometimes called a subject terms lookup, is a way to get from the vocabulary you have to the vocabulary that the database's controlled vocabulary is using. For example, you've thought of the term wage cuts and the thesaurus tells you to use wage decreases. Honestly, most of the time you're not going to want to search with descriptors. For one thing, controlled vocabularies are unique to their databases, so you can't use descriptor searching effectively in the OneSearch database because it's searching across multiple databases. Also, some databases like JSTOR and ScienceDirect don't use controlled vocabulary, so it's not even an option. But you may find it useful in many of the subject-oriented databases provided by EBSCOhost and ProQuest. Also, searching using descriptors is a lot of work and it's not usually necessary. But here are a few situations when it might be a good decision. The first is if you've tried keyword searching with Boolean operators and you have a list of synonyms and related terms a mile long, yet you still think you're missing something. Second, if you've tried keyword searching with Boolean operators and you've had to use a lot of nots and you're still getting search results about something unrelated. And third, if you're not sure how to define your topic. You know there's probably a word out there, but you haven't heard it yet. So you poke around the database's thesaurus searching things that might be close to what you mean until you find what you're looking for. Once you have your descriptor, all you have to do is field search for it, just like we talked about in the last section. You can either go to the advanced search and use the pull-down menu to select the descriptor field, or you can use the descriptor prefix in the basic search. This is one of those things where if you try it and can't get it to work, just ask a librarian. We'd love to help you, and it, you'll probably understand it more after doing it a few times than you will after taking a million tutorials. In a later section, descriptors will come up again because you can use them to narrow down your search results list. That's probably where you're going to end up using them the most. 